Greetings everybody. In this video, we will downgrade an A9 device from iOS 15.3 to iOS 14.8. On a Windows computer, you will no longer need Mac OS for this. For A10 and A11 downgrading, you can check out the guide in the description, in the pinned command and in the card above. This guide is applicable as long as the SEP and baseband is compatible from iOS 15 to iOS 14. We have an iPhone SE first generation right here, which is on 15.3, as you can see. You can check it out in iTunes also. Just connect your iPhone to a Windows computer, open iTunes, and then double click serial number, and you will see ECID. Just copy it somewhere in a text file. We will need it later. You will need Linux for this. You can run Linux off of a USB flash drive without installing for this method. All right, we are on Linux now. You can use the same downgrade guide for A8 and A9 devices, but we will focus on A9 devices in this video. You will need all these files. You will need the SHSH blob for the version you want to downgrade to. You will need the latest future restore beta version for Linux. You will need the IPSW for the firmware you want to downgrade to, you will need the iPhone DFU for A9 and A8. First of all, let's get the blob. Just copy the ECID that you have typed here or pasted here from iTunes on your Windows computer in step one. Just copy it. Open the TSS Saver website. Again, you will get all the links in a text file in the description. Click Retrieve and just paste the ECID and click Submit, Open Link. Now you will see all the blobs that you have saved when these versions were signed. For me, I want to downgrade to 14.8. Just download one of the blob. So it is here already. Next, you will need future restore beta version latest for Linux. Open this website and download the release version for Linux. So I have downloaded it already. Next, you will need the IPSW for the firmware you want to downgrade to. Open this website, choose your device. In my case, iPhone SE, first generation. Scroll down. Select the version you want to downgrade to. And download the IPSW file from here. So I have already downloaded it. Okay. Now get iPhone DFU, open this link, scroll and you will see code here. Just click it and download the zip file right from here. So I have downloaded the zip file here. Now first of all extract future restore, right click, extract here. You will get this file again extracted right click extract here and you will see future restore executable afterwards you can delete these i will delete to reduce your confusion all right so we have this file now now extract ipon dfu master that you have downloaded from the link you will get this folder Again, to reduce your confusion, I will delete it. Now open the iPhone DFU master. Right click and open a new terminal. Now put your device into DFU mode. You can just Google it on how to do it and do it right now. All right, my device is now in DFU mode. Now type sudo python2 iPhone DFU hyphen P press enter now if the exploit fails and you see this error please repeat the process 
again put your device in GFU mode press up arrow you will get the command automatically press enter again all right so guys after trying about four times my device is now in pawn GFU mode now type sudo space python2 pwn dot py and press enter you will see patched mapping and signature checks now you are good to go you can close this terminal head back and where you see the future restore binary right click and open a new terminal now type sudo dot slash future restore hyphen t and just drag and drop the blob onto the terminal now type hyphen hyphen latest hyphen sep space hyphen hyphen latest base basement now hyphen hyphen use hyphen on dfu space hyphen hyphen set nonce now simply drag the IPSW onto the terminal now press enter now if you see an error fail to load a ticket just retry it and it will work now you can check out that it is downloading the SEP downloading baseband now when this process is done the nodes from your blob will be set your device screen can turn red now guys you can check out that nodes has been set meaning the generator from the blob has been set this is step 2 now your device will go into recovery now we will do step 3 just press the up arrow leave the device in recovery mode now just delete set nonce and use pawn dfu from the command line leave the rest as it is now press enter now again it will download sep and the process will start for downgrading i will pause the video here because this can take about 5 to 10 minutes i had to complete this restore or downgrade on a different computer because i was getting out of disk space on my other computer and i was getting error extracting file system so guys if you are getting error extracting file system it means you are running out of disk space so make sure you have ample amount of disk space remaining when you do this downgrade so we are now at sending file system now it is now verifying the restore all right so guys the downgrade or the restore is near completion now all right guys the moment of truth my iPhone SE first generation has been restored or downgraded to iOS 14.8 you can see restore succeeded restore finished I will show you the version now on my iPhone and on iTunes in a second all right guys as you can check out that I am back from iOS 15.3 to 14.8 on this iPhone SE first generation you can check out the version on my iPhone and in iTunes right here that's all for this video guys if you still have questions you can always ask me in the comment section and i will surely help you i will see you in another video goodbye